Good evening. Um, obviously, I'm Sheriff uh, Joe Lombardo from Clark County, and I'm here to talk to you about the tragic event that's taking place, and it's currently taking place at the Mandalay Bay out on the Las Vegas Boulevard South. Uh, we experienced an active shooter situation uh, approximately 10.08 p.m. tonight, this evening. Uh, we had calls come into dispatch uh, of multiple shots being fired uh, from the direction of the Mandalay Bay towards the Route 91 concert that was taking place on the east side of Las Vegas Boulevard. Um, through investigation and response, we determined there was a shooter on the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay. Um, officers responded to that location and engaged the suspect at that location. He is dead currently. Uh, he has been identified. He is a local resident. I will not release his name at this time. Um, but we are interested uh, in a companion that is traveling with him. Um, and her name is, and I will provide you the name, so please be accurate on this, is Mary Lou Danley, M-A-R-I-L-O-U, last name spelled D-A-N-L-E-Y. Uh, she is a uh, Asian female, approximately 4'11", 4 4 uh, weight of um, 111 pounds. We have not located her at this time, and we are interested in talking to her for follow-up. Two vehicles we're interested in locating, and we need your assistance with that. We have a uh, Hyundai Tucson with Nevada plate 114 Baker 40B40 and a Chrysler Pacifica Touring Nevada plate 19D. 401. These are the plates registered to the su suspect um, that we located at the Mandalay Bay. So there's a couple of things that need to occur at this time. One is uh, the Red Cross is responding to the headquarters here at the police department at 400 South Martin Luther King to receive any phone calls from family members who are trying to locate their family that were attended the concert and, I, and aren't unable to contact them. Uh, so that number will be established here shortly, and we'll get it out to you to publicize it here shortly. Additionally, anybody that may have cell phone video or any type of video associated with this event that would be a benefit to the investigation, please respond to the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department headquarters at 400 South Martin Luther King, and we will take custody of that video. So if you have it, you evaluate it, and you think it would be a benefit, please bring that down to the headquarters. So um, family members, if you are unable to call or you do not want to wait for a call and you want to respond in person, we have set up a, a family uh, retreat area for you to respond so we can help you locate your uh, loved ones here at the headquarters. So you will be contacted by a police officer here at the headquarters and they will direct you to where you need to go. Standing with me is uh, uh, special agent in charge of the FBI, Aaron Rouse. Uh, he is assisting with the investigation, which is ongoing. And then we have Fire Chief Greg Castle from Clark County Fire, uh, and they are assisting with all the victims. Now, as far as number of victims, I cannot give you an accurate number at this point. We have well in the excess of 100 plus injured and excess of 20 plus uh, um, that have died at this point. Uh, so we will get those numbers uh, to you accurately as soon as we can. Um, but please bear with us. This is an ongoing investigation, um, but we are comfortable that the primary aggressor in this event is, um, has expired or passed away and uh, is no longer a threat. There has been multiple, multiple phone calls and accusations or conjecture coming through social media uh, that there's multiple shooters at other result, resorts that has been proven to be false. Um, additionally, there has been uh, accusations or beliefs there's there's some explosives going off that is also false the only explosive contained in this event was from our SWAT team breaching the room uh, so please we are pretty confident that there is no longer a threat other than we are attempting to locate the person of interest yeah we have a I have two police officers that are currently at the uh, hospital uh, one in critical condition the other one uh, minor injuries uh, but there are other police officers that were off duty attending the concert that have expired. Uh, we, have no, we don't have those individuals identified at this point. 
Right now we believe it's 100 plus injured and 20 plus dead. Okay, and I don't want to give you an accurate number because I do not have it at this point. <clears throat> I still want them to shelter in place. They will be contacted by first responders and they'll advise them when it's, they're free to go. It's better to shelter in place than to, to be unaware. We believe there's a couple off-duty officers that were attending the concert that may have died. We don't have them identified yet. Well, it is. It's a devastating time and it's unfortunate. And, you know, we have been talking about active shooters in the past, and it's unfortunate it did occur here. Um, but we, we have responded to the scene and we're doing the best we can to provide safety for the survivors. Uh, and right now we believe it's a sole actor, a lone wolf type actor, and we have the place uh, under control. Can you provide any details on how you would take it down? Uh, no, I cannot. All right, thank you very much. We'll, be, we'll do regular briefings um, and we'll advise you of the schedule as they come forward. Thank you.